Hello everybody and welcome back to my Ninu Kunai Wrath of the White Witch playthrough. Where last time we had gone ahead, we got uh, the cauldron. You're interesting. Oh, you're the uh, businessman we talked to. Anyway. Hey, we... what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled program. Anyway, basically, uh, we got told... We got all that taken care of. We then tried to get onto a boat. We can't get onto the boat without uh, permission from the leader from here, Calophilia. But she won't be seen unless she's not eating. So the only way we could see about seeing her is if we bring her her favorite food. Except we don't know what she, her favorite food is. We need to know what her soulmate looks like to see if we could get some info. But we don't know what her soulmate looks like. So we're kind of at a loss. And then this is the guy who um, we could talk to over in Dig Nagdell. We had a little... We had a missing guy. Uh, he dropped it over, uh... At an old tree at the foot of the volcano. Okay. So when we get over... When we swing by the volcano for some of the... Bounty... <clears throat> Bounty hunters. Be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Also, the guy um who stole the cauldron initially. He's in these parts. We don't exactly know. Yeah, I don't have the stupid, uh, banana one. God damn, that's gonna be stupid. I gotta find that guy. Or I gotta capture one of them. But anyway, yeah. Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of cat's cradle establishment. <gasps> oh my! Hey. I I must apologize. Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me. Is it finished? Is it, it is really the paint finished? Is oh, oh, it's completed at last. Oh, how I long to see it. Now, please oh. hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who? Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling. Oh, my beloved Khalifa. So the person he thought I looked like was. The Khalifa. There's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. Now feast your eyes upon the divine beauty <gasps> oh of her my. most admired oh, 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 oh. Huh? <laughs> But that's. Oh. That's uh, Timmy Toldrum's uh, owner. It is divine, truly divine. <clears throat> For matchless beauty it takes my breath away. And then this guy's named after my, or named the same as my cat. So that's what his show stick is. Me, 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 me. Pleased? Why? It's worth twice what I promised to pay you for. Me, 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 me. But we shook on it, did we not? Perhaps next time. Me, me. Excuse me. Me? I don't look like anything like her. Me? You said I looked like her. Me, 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 me. Mr. Trippy. Eh, hey, what is a man? This is just getting interesting. We need to go to Motherville right now. I just realized who, who we need to see. You did, eh? I sure did. Miss Leela is the Califa, uh, Califa uh, soul's mate. I just know she is. 
Of course she is. And it's clever of you, early boy. Thanks, Mr. Trippy. When I saw that picture, I knew right away. Radio, then. Let's get moving, shall we? I don't feel uh, tired all of a sudden. Me neither. Hey, Esther. Come on, we have to go. Huh? Hmm. I look absolutely nothing like her. <laughs> Do I look fat? Do you? I am not fat. Her. He only compared your face. I don't know why the fuck you're so, like... Look, I get the idea that Cal uh, Califa is, again, she's as big as a cow, but... He never told you that you look like her body. She, He told you that he, you have the kind of similar face of structure. But no, you're not fat. Uh, that dress doesn't make you look fat. You're still kind of hangry, huh? What do you mean? I'm not angry in the slightest! I'm not gonna be punching out a wall because of this! <laughs> that would've been fun if I just punched actually something in here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, a, I'm six flipping six. Looks like uh, we best leave her to it. I guess we should, huh? There's a guard. Is <laughs> yeah, he's still in here! Me, 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 me. <laughs> I swear, if he's in more of the story, that's gonna be incredibly fun. So his name actually is Khan. That is stupid, and I love that. Because again, I can just be like, oh, it's just Khan, you know? <laughs> Khan, it's you in the game! <laughs> I kinda thought he would just be kind of a one note character. And he probably will be after this moment, but still. Uh. Run me over! I just kind of find it funny the fact that it was like... <laughs> well, there's one way to stick out, or to stand out. And somebody's like, "Oh, well, the, what do you? What did you do differently with the Ninu Kunai stuff?" <laughs> That's gonna be kind of funny. Run me over! No, my foot! You only run over my foot. There's also that stuff. Huh? The door is closed. Did you mean the milk bar is closed? Looks like the shop ain't open yet. I'm sure if we wait right here, she'll be along soon. It's time to open up already. Someone's coming. Oh, hello, Oliver. Myrtle, hi. How are you? Are you feeling better? I am. Well, thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? You need something from the store. Wait a moment. I'll just open it up for you. Who is this girl? I feel like... Like you know her somehow? Yes. She looks exactly like me. It's like she's my long-lost twin or something. She looks much more like me than that stupid old Galfila. Hello, Philip. Can she not see me or something? That's perceptive of you. She can't see you, nor me, or neither. Really? So I'm invisible. What a strange feeling. Of course you're invisible. You're from another world, ain't it? Uh, did you say something, Oliver? N no, no, I didn't. Anyway, how come you're at Miss Lee's uh, uh, store model? Hee <laughs> hee, I work here now. Miss Lee and my f mom are friends. When she heard that I was better, she said I should come work for her. 
Gee, that's real nice of her. <coughs> Say, Myrtle, is Miss Leela around? Sure. She's busy training right now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. Oh, that's a really weird thought. So the idea is Esther is essentially a love interest for Oliver, but so is Myrtle. And I think the weirdest part is, okay, Nino Kunai 2, we did see the counterpart to Roland. I don't think there's a ever we ever see the counterpart to Oliver. Do we? Like that's really interesting thought. Uh, Kunai, um, Oliver's um, soulmate. Oh. Well, that's a spoiler. Yeah, that's a massive spoiler. Yeah, okay. second part, I want to know what the fuck it's talking about. <sighs> okay. Okay. I am sure as shit not going to spoil it. Because it's a massive fucking spoiler. <laughs> but it seems that both games follow kind of the same trend. So I'll say, that's, say that the least. <laughs> anyway, that's enough uh, spoiler talk right now. <laughs> sure, she's busy training right now. But I'm sure she'll be back soon. What? Miss Leela? Training? That's right, she started running. <laughs> Is she on a diet? Hee <laughs> hee. No, silly. She's exercising so that she can eat even more. How, how do you mean? <laughs> Metal, I'm back. Why, if it isn't our young Oliver. Hello, dearie. Good morning, Miss Leela. Myrtle, I can't wait any longer. Would you? Shh, yes, Miss Leela. I'll go get it right uh, for you right now. Oh, it's no good. I can't. I just can't wait that long. I have to have something. I have some in the store. You can stay out here and clean or something. Wait, what? My, I never saw uh, anyone go crazy about their favorite food. What was that? Did she say favorite food? Oi, Ali boy, I bet it's the same as Calophilius. You're right. Let's go find out what it is. See you soon, Myrtle. Boy, that boy sure seems weird. Are they cookies? Uh, Miss Layla, what is she eating? Cheese! It's cheese. A whole lot of cheese. That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. Is it just cheese or like? Quick, Ollie boy! She'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some. Shopish. Okay. No, you grab it. Please, Miss Layla. Could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh, uh -huh. You know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but Please. not that. Just oh, one no, piece. No, no, no. Just one no. giant. I said no. Cheese, man. Mine. Cheese with all your might. Have it. Uh, I'll never on, let Ollie you boy. have it. It's Go mine. On. Mine. Oh. I tell you. All right. Oh. <laughs> It's kind of a shock, huh? It sure is. I had no idea. I had no idea she was so obsessed. Hee <laughs> hee. It's better not to go near her when she's eating cheese. I know that now. 
Madel! Madel! Sounds like she needs my help. I better go inside. Goodbye for now. Jeepers. Jeepers. What do we do now? <laughs> Jeepers. 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 So what do we do now? This Leela's store is the only place in town that sells cheese. Oliver, that's not right. Oh, hi, P. We kind of need some cheese. Cheese? That's right. It's Calophilia's favorite food. Who is he talking to? Must be a ma his imaginary friend again. Here we flip and go. You fucking smoked the Horus. What the fuck are you talking about? Huh? We can make it? Make your own cheese. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there... Don't we have a spell to... I don't think we have a spell to speed up. We have quick and growth, but I don't think that's... <laughs> I just... Sorry. I just read um one of the fucking signs. I, like, looked over and saw, Ring yourself in. Somebody's jewels. Wife insurance. Wife insurance on both the window and the thing. If that's not a boomer joke, I have no other idea what it'd be. <laughs> yes, with your magic. Lots and lots of cheese. But I can't. I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just try. Just try? Think it's really that easy? Yes. But do I even have a spell that I can use for that? Hey, wait. She's gone. Yeah, just wife insurance, wife insurance, ring yourself in, Julie's Jewels, wife insurance. Again, I don't know how how more of a boomer fucking joke that could be. <laughs> Is that even a real thing? Fucking wife insurance? That's a, that's a show. Oh, that's an episode of a show. <laughs> There's a wife's insurance benefits. <laughs> okay. There's spouse life insurance. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, no, that's, that's actually the... That's actually what I'm kind of looking for, um, because it looked, there's an image of a, okay, it's wife insurance, no, that's, they don't, because there's a play, there's an American Dad episode, but there's also something on Amazon. I'm going to assume this may or may not be active. No, this is um the book. So that's the book the play's on. It, it looks similar enough because it has the jewelry. So there is Julie insurance. So that that just straight up is just a boomer joke. <laughs> I s uh, let me see if I can't find uh, it referenced uh, like at least in fucking yes. Okay. So in the in the thing, uh, fucking this from nine years ago. Saw the name of the jewelry shop in the cutscene. These writers are pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it has puns like Page Turner's books and Shoemaker boots. I just love the idea that it's just fucking uh, wife's insurance. Wife insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun talking to your imaginary friend, did you? Ollie boy. Better than talking to your real friends, was it? Huh? Imaginary friend? You saw Horace! What the fuck are you talking about? You mean P? 
Me? Who was that? You, what do you mean? She was right here. Um, I didn't see anyone. Maybe you can only see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? Well, maybe it's just like how Myrtle can't see me. Oh, you fucker. She's not a ghost. She's from a different, uh, world. But I, I can see her. You might be right, you know. i never seen this people either. Anyway, what did P say to you, Oliver? Oh, yeah, she said to use my magic to make some cheese. What's that? Make it with magic, she used to say. Uh, she may be too shy to let us see her, but she ain't afraid to stick her neck out and vice versa. You mean it won't work? No, nah, man, it will work. The whole point of magic is just to make the impossible possible, ain't it? But I guess it's difficult without the right ingredients, huh? But we do have them. We do? Of course. Back in Alma Moon, the fountains of milk. We could use magic to turn the milk from the fountains into cheese. Now that we can do it, tidy. Righty oh, Ollie boy. Let's get back to our world, shall we? Yes, let's go straight to the ma the fountains of milk and try it out. They're in the main square back in Alma Moon. I know, fucking hell. God damn it. Anyway, uh... <clears throat> yeah, no, no, that's really fucking silly. Uh, I think it probably is quick and gross. That's the only thing I think of. Oh, by the way, I will state, because again, I, re I looked into the... <sighs> soulmate stuff. I... Like I said, I, like, watched all the way through, uh, Stampy Longnose's playthrough, so there's not really any surprises left. But I sure as shit have forgotten what actually happens in this game. <laughs> I think the only thing, like, the... I didn't know about... I didn't remember the volcano. I sure as shit did not remember, uh, a good chunk of this stuff, so... I never fucking knew about Horus, I'll tell you that much, too. So, oh, it's the other fountain. So, like what? Use quicken growth on it? No. So these fountains are fountains of milk. Gee, is that real milk for real? Hee <laughs> hee. Of course, the freshest, creamiest milk there is. There's so much of it, you can just keep trying until you get it right. Trying. You think I can't do it, huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Come on! You gotta focus. You gotta conjure up some cheese. Focus! Now, do you know how cheese is made? Sure. You heat up some milk, add lemon and salt, you skill the, uh, skim the solid, top, solid part off the top, and it turns into cheese. Lie me! A real cheesemonger you are. Well, this should be cheesy peasy then. All you need is the right spell, ain't it? Sure, let me take. It. I have to fucking cook it. Is that what you're saying? I was just saying fucking quick and growth. Okay, that's what it is. Look at that! It's slipping, walking. It really is. You're so good at magic, Oliver. I bet you could even make sweets if you put your mind to it. And cakes. Ooh, I could just eat a... Hey, stop that. I'm trying to concentrate. Wow. Just a massive roll of cheese. Okay, I was kind of joking. <laughs> Why the fuck did you say anything? That is a massive piece of cheese. You obtained a giant cheese wedge. Look at the flippin' size of that mun. And you went and made some sweets uh, and all. That was Esther's fault. Hee <laughs> hee. I bet you wanted some too, though, didn't you? You shouldn't distract somebody while they're trying to cast a spell. Oh, don't be like that. 
Now we can go see, go and see the Calfila, Califa. Our present's a little on the large side, but I suppose it won't matter. The bigger the better, I reckon. Let's uh, please her with cheese. Oh, the sweet's gone. Hey, a bowl. Good day to you all. How may I be of service? We brought some cheese to give to Calafila, Mr. Alfonso. Cheese? Praise to be the ancients. I had thought there was none re uh, remaining in all the land. The Califa just can't get enough of it, huh? But how did you hear of this? It is a secret known only to those within the palace. No matter, you are correct. Her Mujisi is indeed a great admirer of cheese in its many forms. She will, un she will undoubtedly grant an audience to any of those who come bearing such a gift. Please, you must follow me, quickly. I have to go make the biggest ever mac and cheese. That's so fucking heavy. Jeepers, that's the Khalifa? She probably ended up this way because of- Shada, the stinking rot bag. Mm. What is that divine aroma? Abba! Here, your majesty. Bountiful Kaulifa, these humble servants come bearing most delicious tribute. Whoa. Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Uh, huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man, bring it to us. Hurry! Okay, I know that I didn't want to make a joke, but man, is that just somebody's fetish. That is definitely somebody's fetish. Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? More! Bring uh, us more! Uh, 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 Magnanimous Kaulifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken hearted, she definitely is. but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? Yeah, that's, that's the right. same as the other lady. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay, so we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you Let's must do all you book. can to help her majesty. He's like, I don't want to go fucking grab more cheese. Restraint, huh? Can you think of anyone with a lot of restraint, Esther? Hmm, let me see. There must be someone. You can use the locket to try and look for someone, but this is a big old town, man. Let's try the shopkeepers first, shall we? That's a neat idea, Mr. Drip. People who own the shops know everyone in town. They'll hear all the news. They do, don't they? do, don't they? Great! Let's ask her on the shop around all the shops, man. Ah! Fuck, what was it? Damn. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that so? Well, well, well. So they got into the palace, did they? And what did they talk about? Did they now? Okay, keep me posted on what's going on inside. And my payment. Don't worry. You'll get your reward. By the next time we meet, I'll have scored you something decent. Do you mean that you will steal something? No, no, no. Don't be stupid. It's just a figure of speech. Now concentrate at the job at hand. Will you? I'm counting on you to be my eyes and ears. Don't let me down. You're not working for Shadar, are you? Anyway, uh... Hmm. 
We're looking for anyone that's queen. Because we've already kind of absorbed everyone with the screen. Or absorbed everyone with the other stuff, so. Alright. Let's find it first. Actually, yeah, he's not a bad one. You'll uh, you work trouble. Well, if it's equipment tough enough to survive the harsh desert effort, you're after you come to the right place. Um, actually, we came to ask you something. We need to find someone with a lot of restraint, but nobody seems to know a person like that. You must be lucky working in all, in all the wrong places. Unless I'm raving mad, I know just a person. Oh, are you do? Do you? Who is it? You have to tell us. A bull, of course. If I had his patience, I'd be crying about it all over town. A fool? That's right. A little bird told me quite a story about him. It was a few years ago now. One day, the Calafila decided that all out of the blue that she wouldn't break. She wouldn't break her content until she had tasted all the cheeses in the world. Cheese? I guess she really is like Miss Lila. Yeah. Huh. Without a moment's hesitation. Uh, a bull set off to work for them all. The forest and across the oceans he went, battered by a blizzard, and often surviving on little more than a wing and a prayer. But finally he came home to roost, and when he did, it was a cart piled high with every cheese under the sun. Cowboy, it must have stank. And now what I call, that's what I call restraint. And by goodness, does he need it? And her mouth would just be growing, uh... At it, uh, at him, all the time. Crikey, that's impressive. He did all of that. It's his life and everything. Just so her majesty, uh, her mood, a uh, moose could have a snack. Daddy, I think we found our man, Ollie boy. Nito, we should go find him right away. Uh, yeah. did you actually have new shit? This stuff, it's like fucking. That's four. We would only need enough for everyone, so. Mm. Damage and defense. I kinda want this. Okay. Let's go find a bull. And then... Actually, I think this would be a good point to end this video. Nah, we'll, we'll go get uh, a bull and then we'll like to end this video. In that way, next time we can go and give her the broken hardness. I'm sure there's going to be a fight coming up. This is just massive. Mr. Abu, sir, we found out we found out about someone with a whole lot of restraint. You did. This is excellent news. You must tell me, who is it? It's you. Me? But impossible. Not in the slightest, uh, Peter Patience. Look at Ollie Boy's locket. It's glowing up a tree. Would you let us borrow some of your restraint, Mr. Abul? Hmm, well, I... Of course you may. For a mood to see anything. What must I do? There's nothing to it. Just lie back and think of Elmer Moon. Well, get on it with... Get on with it, Ollie Boy. Sure, here goes. Take heart. Steal the heart from him. Ooh, the power to resist the demon of temptation. Yeah, I think we'll just give it to her. <laughs> Tidy, all done. Already? This is truly enough to restore her majesty to her former glory. You bet it, you bet it is. 
Okay. Mmm, cheesy wheezy. Mounds of delicious cheesy wheezy. And all for us. She's got cheese on the flippin' brain, huh? Even dreams about the stuff. Quick, Ollie boy, magic or better, will you? Yes, sir. Give heart. We obviously need to give her kindness. Restraint. Bonk. Shit, we went to the Prometheus School of Running Away from Things. Goodness! We feel quite marvelous! Whatever can have happened to us? These humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labors. Munificent Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, Your Majesty. If it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? Ooh, a little floaty wooty. Yes, of course. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee! Thank you, Your Majesty. Tidy! The boat is in the bag. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wooty? Yeah. I think it's basically as big as a floating carpet. Magic oh, carpet. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, yeah, we to say. asked you a question, did we not? Well, uh. Go on, man. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, we know of them, do we not? Indeed, most learned Khalifa. But little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> Uh -oh. Is is something wrong? <laughs> we uh -oh. are not unamused. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. We will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. Y'all ready to listen to this while I got the... There were once four great sages. 
you understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddai. Mom. Mother! Oh, God damn it, Trippy. <laughs> but we know of one who did not perish. And that was our Rashad. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin, a detestable and warlike realm. Uh, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. Wait, is this is he the soulmate of uh fuck, what was his name? Philip, I think is his name. A bull? Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. No, not him. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. There's Lucky. Alright. No, so I think uh, Phil's soulmate is over there. Because we've been meeting soulmate after soulmate. <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully-fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. Yeah. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Nature's tongue. Okay. Burden. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ta-ta! And now we get to go ahead and save, yeah. We did it! We have gone ahead and done it. Well, we can go ahead and end up the video here. I will look at some I have. But none of those creature caves. None of you guys are weird. Yeah. I know that this is. Okay, well you're at your max. You are not. Let's give you a tag. Just for the hell of it. Cupcake. Magical defense. Alright, we go. Yeah. Give him the pie. There we go. So, how the fuck? Do you increase their fucking? I would assume that's just literally battle with them comes more and more. Saying that hers is the same. And showing like mine is. Oh, and she's got, uh, new stuff, too. Ooh, okay, there is actually some... Healthy glow? That's a good one. 
Thunder Spark, I think we can keep. Fling Flame, uh, Plasma Ball. Actually, uh, we have not received that yet, but you could be swapped up for that. Really Poly? Not a bad one. Uh, Roly Poly or. I don't know. Technically, it would be to do that. And then you get you. And then you. Attack, you guys will never be worried about. Equipment! The only one who doesn't or needs one is Tony. Tony Khan. I didn't name you. So. Sprout, Julian, <laughs> and Steve. And then yeah. That's oh, an interesting thought. Uh. I guess this. Wizard Pledge, uh, signed by Carl. Whatever the fuck is this little. Wait, 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 wait. Cat, yeah. So far, that's all we've seen. Huh. That's interesting. If we Oh, we're missing a couple pages. So what the fuck is this? To a cloud sweeper and take to the sky. That's what I was thinking! Okay, are the semi magical they require a little help? So this is. We just need to find a fucking broom. So I'm not an idiot, it just fucking wasn't letting me. Oh. Shit. So if we just hold this down, how long does it take to actually get through this entire book? Alright, oh wait, true to crew time. I swear, if I get somebody actually pissed that I'm, I don't refer to him as uh, Kaiser or stupid stuff like that. Look, salad dressing's not even in this game. So you have no right to be mad at me. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in all the jazz. Like, subscribe, comment down below to see you next video. And that have a great day. Where's the button? Where's the button right here?